What's going on everybody? I'm here in Coloreds, North Carolina today and I'm at the filming site of 1968 film Killers 3 starring Dick Clark, Robert Walker, Diane Varsi and Merle Haggard. Uh, uh, Merle Haggard actually, uh, funny enough, was a police officer in it, which is kind of weird because you know always a lot of his music is about being a fugitive, uh, you know about you know being an outlaw. And so it was a little different to see Merle Haggard play a cop, uh, and he does the soundtrack for the movie. Actually, him and Bonnie Owens, and actually Bonnie Owens I think is on the soundtrack as well. But uh, nevertheless, it's sort of a Bonnie and Clyde uh, gangster. Uh, type of film, kind of, you know, more in the, I guess you can put it in the gangster genre, you know, with Bonnie and Clyde, Public Enemy, but, uh, Public Enemies, um, but anyway, uh, let's check this place out. This, um, this Enterprise store, of course, it's seen its better days, and it looked way better in the film, and I hate they have that dumpster there, it looks like they're working on it. Let me, uh, clean the lens. Yeah, it looks like they're working on it. Uh, there's a scene, you know, um, actually that was the old Enterprise store and that can be seen in the film as well as is where uh, as well as that mill that old uh, where uh, There's a scene where they try to ambush the three gangsters So it's and this and this and so it was two men and a, and a it was two men and a lady and they had a little three and uh, Robert Walker and uh, Diane Varsi, they had uh, their characters, they had a little boy in the film, and there's a scene where they try to ambush them and take their, their son, and, and several men have shot, are standing over there with shotguns, and then they try to, you know, and then they get, uh, they try to grab the kid in front of this uh, store. This is the, this is the uh, scene where they pull up to the uh, store. See the windows? I showed you the... You can tell that's the old building that's now boarded off. And this is kind of when they... They kind of set, try to set them up. Can I have ice cream, Daddy? Sure you can. Oh, I just want you to see the mill. See, there's the... Hold it right there. No, no, put me down. Get back. Get your hands up. Y'all surround it. Don't cry. Sure. You sure done it all right. Yeah. You're going to be mighty proud of you. Yes, sir. That's them. That's them all right. Come on down here, you fellas. Look, there's the, yeah, there's the mill across the street. See? Yeah. How is this other city, dude? And then just a gun uh, fight ensues. Don't you? I love the uh, I love this uh, old Victorian architecture. A lot of mills back then, back in the uh, late 19th century, early 20th century, they had that neat brickwork, really cool Victorian style brickwork though. And, and you can see it up there. See it up there. That kind of castle gives it kind of kind of a cool castle look. There's old silo there. Yeah, but all this can be seen in there. But yeah, Johnny and Roger. I believe Dick Clark was Roger, and then Robert was Johnny. And Diane, Diane's name was Carol. And uh, what was Merle Haggard? His name, I think, was, he was Officer Charlie. I can't remember his last name. What? Oh, and Merle Haggard, what, his sister was Robert Walker, uh, R Robert Walker's uh, wife in the movie. So he was the brother-in-law. There he is with his guitar. So I, I forgot to, I may have forgot to mention that little piece. Nevertheless, though, he was, um, I don't want to give too much away because I, uh, yeah, I, I'm going to let y'all watch. You can watch it for free, actually, on YouTube. You can watch it in its entirety. So these streets, you know, the, they drove all through. Of course, the streets looked different back then. A little more, of course, a little more, way more modernized now. Mm -hmm. 
the last time I filmed it, there was this mannequin in the window. Now it's gone. So that somebody's been in there. So cool. It was sort of an underground film. It didn't get the uh, notoriety that um, that Bonnie and Clyde got, of course, and some of the other notable gangster films of that era. But and um, I, I, yeah, it really, it really sucks that being in the way into, of being in the way of our view. I don't know what what they're doing to the place. I can't imagine they would tear this down. But yeah, you can. I love the I love the columns too. By the way. That's so cool. I love those mirrors are awesome. Right. Look at the door handle. Look at this. Look at that drop down there. Old loading dock. Look at that. So cool. There's also there's also a uh, scene down there. I don't know how to get down to that dam, but uh, I guess this is the best maybe we can do. But there's also a scene where uh, Roger and Johnny are on the run, and they're having uh, they're on the run around the dam area. In there. A little shootout scene, if you will. Hmm. There's down at the dam. From the bay, this is, see, this is down, this is a scene down at the dam. They were wild and free. There you go. That's that dam. Somehow they know they will. Yeah, I just wanted to show you that real quick. But yeah, in the yeah, it looks like they whip around this corner in the movie. At least they get. It looks like they go up this hill, possibly. Now here's them coming up the hill in Ramsar. So like that, this would have been driving through the downtown. See, that would have been yeah, that you know, and that would have been down the hill. I assume where the mill would have been, and then the mill down the way uh, is. Uh, is used too. And I will show you right now. Well guys, thank you for joining me. It's been a lot of fun trying to find these locations for uh for Killers 3. Like I said, if you're into that that genre, you know, you if you like Bonnie and Clyde films like that, you probably like this. It was uh I mean, it, it was uh, kind of an underground film. The, of course, it was uh, the budget wasn't as, as good as... Uh, yeah, I'm sure they didn't spend as much on, on making this as they did Bonnie and Clyde and some of the other more well-known gangster films, but, or robbery films. So, uh, but anyway, it's kind of cool that Dick Clark... Dick Clark didn't... I, I always know Dick Clark as the New, Year's, the New Year's Eve guy, so it's, you know, he wasn't in a lot of films, so... And he was good in this, though. He played a good... Uh, Played a good bad guy, but got a kind of a creepy bad guy, kind of you know, um, and uh, everybody else was pretty good in the film too. Kind of cool, and, I, and, and Merle Haggard being in it just made it made me want to do this that much more. So uh, everybody in that film has passed away, all the main actors though, except probably except the kid, and you know, hopefully he's around, but he'd be getting up there too. So appreciate it, and I will see y'all next time. Mm.